are you aware of the fire hazard associated with paraffin-based emollients? Many different emollients contain paraffin, which are widely prescribed and play an important role in the treatment of skin conditions. Although it's a small number, the sad news is that people have actually died after accidentally setting light their clothes when sparks from cigarettes or other fire sources react with the paraffin in the emollient which is on the clothes or on the skin. So this week's video is definitely not an anti-emollient video. Instead, I'm making you aware of the potential fire hazard risk of paraffin-based emollients and how to actually reduce that risk. And I find that few people actually know about this, so please help spread the word, like, share, and tag friends. You could potentially save a life. So, a while back, the National Patient Safety Agency commissioned fire testing of paraffin-based emollients to determine their fire risk. They concluded that paraffin contamination on clothing leads to a more rapidly growing fire, which burns more intensely and is harder to extinguish. And here's some footage from their test. The left dressing has not come in contact with a paraffin-based emollient and the right has. Notice the dressing impregnated with a paraffin-based emollient burns much more vigorously. This could happen very easily if a dressing or even clothes are placed over skin which is being covered in a thick layer of paraffin-based emollient. So, the question is, what can you do to reduce the fire hazard risk? So firstly, the easiest way to reduce your risk of ignition is stop smoking or stop being near someone who is smoking. And if you want to quit or you want to help someone quit, I made a video all about it a couple of months ago. So feel free to check it out. Link is in the description below. In winter, we tend to turn on the fireplace. So try and keep away and if you can, avoid turning it on. Regularly change clothing and bedding which is impregnated with paraffin based products. Preferably on a daily basis, or wash regularly. Chairs or seating may also have a potential of becoming contaminated with paraffin. So, cover with a throw and wash regularly. And lastly, tell your friends, family and carers about the fire hazard risk of your treatment so they can be more careful. Evidence currently only relates to a fire hazard risk with emollients containing paraffin concentrations of 50% or higher. But the National Patient Safety Agency has taken the view that the fire hazard risk could apply to any paraffin containing product regardless of its concentration. And for a full list of prescribed paraffin based emollients, I've left the link in the description below. Feel free to check it out or instead just read the ingredients section on your emollient. And that's it for this week's video. I think this is a really important issue that we need to raise awareness of. So please help spread the word, like, share and tag friends or we'll find this information useful. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that follow or subscribe button now to get more videos.